I think the guys have, have really done a good job of trying to be consistent day in and day out. And, and it's shown. And I think we've, we've had the ability to make some explosive plays. And guys, guys have really kind of battled. One guy will have a really good day this day, and then the other guy will have a really good day the next day. And I think that competition level uh, within the room has really allowed each and every one of us to get better throughout the process. You mentioned the competition throughout the room. What's great about that competition in your eyes in terms of what you're seeing from each guy? I think everybody understands the urgency that we're operating with. And when you have that competition, they understand that if they do have a bad day, that the guy behind them is going to be the, the starter on the next day. So that competition forces you to be on top of your game mentally and physically. And I think the more you do that, the more it just becomes habit and becomes natural and you're ready to do it every single day. You've really had a clean slate with each guy because you weren't here the previous year really seeing years in the past other than film. But knowing that you've been able to watch some film on a guy like Curtis and now see him here in the fall, it really seems like he's made a lot of leaps and bounds in your eyes and your time with him. Where has he grown just in the time where you've had time with him? I think the biggest thing is comfort. You know, he seems more comfortable with what we're trying to do in terms of uh, everything, whether it's the run game, whether it's the throw game, understanding protections and when he's got to get rid of the ball quickly. And he knows who his outlets are in the throw game. So if we do get pressure, we can get out of our hand before taking a sack. I think a guy like Anthony, of course, transferring in, has that FBS experience at Northern Illinois being a part of their program. What's he added to that room since his addition in here in the fall? The biggest thing is he understands how it's done. You know, they've had a lot of success at the previous place he was at. So he's seen what you need to do in order to win. So that's that's added a ton of value. Plus, he also enjoys practice. And, and that enthusiasm and energy kind of bleeds over to everybody else. You mentioned little details all the time. Where does this group excel in the little details and, and some of those little details that you've liked and that you've seen here throughout the fall? I think the big thing is they're getting really, really comfortable with what we're trying to do and who we're trying to attack and kind of who we're trying to feed the ball to. So those those things have really helped uh, us to operate efficiently throughout this fall practice season. Coach Switch told me day one of fall camp, he said, Luke, we really want to have more of an emphasis in the passing game this year. Of course, the quarterback position is much more than just throwing the football. But in that area where you can help, mm -hmm. where do you feel this team can make that jump in that regard, not just with your quarterbacks, but elsewhere throughout the offense? Right. Well. You see it across the country right now. It's hard to go 10, 12, 11 and play drives, and you need those explosive plays. And really, in the run game, you can get some explosive runs. It's just it's hard because obviously proximity, and you got to have a bunch of guys do their job. Whereas on the perimeter, you can get a guy soloed up one on one, so you get a chance for one guy to make one guy miss, and then it turns into big gains for us. You know, at the beginning of practice, sometimes I think uh, maybe more from a player's perspective, man, we got 15 practices. Uh, this, this seems like we got a lot of time. Well, you're in the last week, and you only got one more left on Saturday. What's the biggest thing you want to accomplish here, Coach Castle, with your kind of last, not really a scrimmage, but your last team competition or team practice on Saturday before you guys break and really get to the weight room and then restart in January? Well, I think it's using this final practice to, to really continue and finish strong and then build some momentum heading into January. And, you know, in a sense, it's almost like when a team goes to play in a bowl game. You want to get that bowl win so you can build on that and, and head into the offseason in, on a high note. Well, for us, it's just the opposite. You want to use this last practice to really head and jumpstart yourselves into a, into a shortened kind of conditioning phase leading into these practices that makes you to count it. We have like 17 practices in January, and that's it. So we got to get this, hit the ground running fast and maximize the time that we have. Obviously, you mentioned a key word, momentum, and I know that's key to have. Do you feel you've been able to build some positive momentum here in the fall as you start to get closer to the end? I definitely think so. You know, we've had a number of different guys show up day in and day out and, and really get some good quality work and make some explosive plays along the, along the way, and we're excited about where we're at right now.